Hello everyone, welcome to this video series on Python tools for data science and machine learning. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about how to slice and split NumPy arrays. I have already created a video on introduction to NumPy arrays and how to make use of it. If you are not aware of NumPy arrays, I will highly, highly recommend you to go ahead and see that video. You can see a card over here referring to that particular video. Now, if you know about NumPy arrays, Let's go ahead and see how you can slice the NumPy array or split the NumPy array. So let's talk about slicing first, then we will look into splitting the NumPy arrays. Now, before using NumPy arrays, we have to import NumPy as NP. And before we go further, just a recap, why we use NumPy as compared to Python list or as compared to any other thing that is available. There are two benefits of NumPy arrays. First, it is memory efficient which means it takes considerably less amount of memory as compared to python list data structure and second thing is that numpy arrays are created for mathematical operations and you know that all data science and machine learning related things requires mathematical operations okay so let's talk about slicing the numpy arrays first let me create a numpy array and here is how my numpy array looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now I can display the NumPy array just like, you know, typing the name ARR, but there is another way I can display the NumPy array. And this particular thing, this particular character is extremely important for slicing. And this particular character is called colon. Okay. So if I give array ARR subscript notation, and if I provide colon, colon means what? all the elements so if i am writing arr without anything and if i am writing arr subscript colon it's the same thing the meaning of that is same and this colon operator you have to watch it carefully because this is where slicing comes into picture and this is the one thing which helps or enable us to do the slicing so this colon operator within the subscript whatever prefix and suffix we provide decides how we can do the slicing now the suffix and prefix are called inclusive exclusive range this is very important for all of you to understand what is the meaning of inclusive exclusive range the prefix number is included the suffix number is excluded this means that index 0 will be included which means this number 1 will be included and 6 will be excluded. Now in this particular case, six will be outside this, right? Because array index starts from zero, which means that this is excluded, which means that we are gonna see index elements zero to five, which means that we are gonna see all the elements. So this and this are same in this particular case. In here, I do not need to provide any prefix or suffix. It will display all the elements. But in here, I can provide prefix and suffix. Prefix is included, suffix is excluded. Similarly, there are a few things you must know, like ARR0 is the first. What about minus one? Minus one is the last element of that particular array. So if you want to know what is the last element of that particular NumPy array, you will say ARR minus one. Minus two is one, but last element. So in this case, I am saying ARR 1 colon 5. What will be the output of this? Okay, let me, you know, uh, print ARR so that we know what is ARR. Okay, ARR is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if I say ARR 1 colon 5, what will be the output of this? 1 will be included. Index number 1 will be included, which is 2. Index number 5 will be excluded, which is 6 which means that it should print 2, 2, 5 and it will print 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, clear. Now let's talk about ARR1 colon minus 1. What is minus 1, which is the last element, which is 6 that will be excluded. So what it will print? The same as f of 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if we don't provide suffix, if we don't provide suffix as in here, it will start from 1 one index and it will go till the end so it will start from two and it will go till the end and this is how we do the slicing go ahead and try out some permutation combinations on these kind of you know colon and 
providing some prefix and suffix, you will learn a lot about slicing, okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about slicing 2D array. Let's first create a 2D array, okay? This is a 2D array, okay? 5 by 4 2D array. Now, if I just say ARR colon, all the elements of the 2D array will be printed. Now, let me first put some data into this element. I'll say np.put, I will use the put function of this particular numpy array. So for index 1 to 19, I'll say put 1 to 19. So here is how the output will look like, okay? So I will have 0 to 19 as the element in this 2D array. Now, 2D array means one dimension is increased, which means that there are rows and there are columns, right? Now, in case of 1D array, one dimension array, we used one colon. In case of 2D array, if we want to slice 2D arrays, we will use two colons. In case of 3D arrays, if we want to slice 3D arrays, we will use three colons, okay? If we don't use some of the colons, you know, there will be some default thing, default actions that will happen. So in this particular case, either we put ARR colon or ARR colon comma colon, all rows and columns, okay? So first colon will determine rows, second colon will determine column. So if I say ARR 1, 1, which means first row, first column element, which is 5. First row, first column, which is 5. Now let's talk about inclusive exclusive range for 2D arrays. So in here, what I'm saying that ARR for rows 0 to 3, which means that include row 0, include row 1, include row 2, but don't include row 3. And in column, just include only column 0. Here is the output of this. So include this 0, 1, 2, and include this 0, 4, 8. Okay, so in this case, this is 0, 4, 8. Similarly, I can, you know, add one more column. It will have 1, 5, 9. So if we don't specify comma separated second level index, by default, it means everything. Everything in row 0, 1, and 2 because of inclusive, exclusive range. 0 is included, 3 is excluded, which is very similar to just putting a blank colon without any prefix or suffix. Now let's use a 3D array. Okay, as I said, 3D array means three columns. Okay, and same rules are applicable over there in 3D arrays also. For each colon, for each comma, you decide what is the elements of a particular, you know, dimension will be included. Once you go to three dimension or more, it is very difficult to do it, you know, manually by looking at it. You may need to end up writing some program for that. Now let's talk about the second thing of this particular video, which is splitting NumPy arrays. So luckily we don't need to do any permutation combination for splitting the NumPy arrays because we have two functions, split and edge split, which means that row wise split and column wise split. Okay. So I have created a 2D array and this is the array. This is the same array which I have created earlier. Let's split this particular NumPy array row wise okay so i want to split this 2d array row wise so what i will do i will use split function now i will use split function by passing the parameter one so what happens that just like in colon there is something called prefix there is something called suffix so in this particular index there is something called prefix what indexes come before this and what indexes comes after this so in this particular case if we provide one, there will be a zeroth index and one and rest of the index. So if we go ahead and split it, you can see that horizontally row wise, it is split into two. One is zero, the index came before it and rest of the rows. And it will be divided into two. We can access it by split zero and split one. We will get two NumPy arrays. Similarly, let's talk about splitting by providing parameter one and two. Now, what is before one? Zero. What is between one and two? One. What is after two? Two plus. So in this particular case, the row wise splitting will happen and it will create three uh, NumPy arrays. And here is how it will look like. The row zero will be a new array. 
Row 1 will be a new array because between 1 and 2 there is only 1 and 2 onwards there will be new array and we can access it via split 0, split 1 and split 2. Now the splitting totally depends upon the index you provide in the array as a parameter okay so always think about you know what is prefix what is suffix for each number okay similarly if i say split 1 comma 4 what is before 1 0 what is between 1 to 4 1 2 3 and then 4 onwards so there will be three split and split first will be 0 between 1 and 4 is 3 1 2 3 and fourth is the last one and we can see split 0, 1, 2, right? Now let's talk about column wide split. We will use function h split, but the functionality remains pretty much similar to what we used just now with the split. So in this particular case, similarly, in this case, there will be only one column split, zeroth column and rest of the column. And here is how it will look like. Similarly, we will have h split 0, h split 1. This is how we use numpy split function. And we can provide similar to split 1, 2. You know what is the output going to be 0, 1, and 2 plus. Okay. So 1, 2, 3. Right. In this case, tell me what will happen. The parameters are 1 and 3. So what is before 1? 0. Between 1 and 3, 1, 2. And then three so there will be three split there will be split for column zero then one two then column three okay and we can see each split as a separate numpy array so this is how we will split and slice the numpy arrays i hope and believe that i have explained these concepts in the easiest possible way thank you all thanks for watching we will meet again until the next time we meet good day goodbye you take care